The deployment automatically launches your new application in a browser instance. Log in as user dmadmin with the password demo.demo. Let's add three new fictitious insurance policies. To do that, first click the Policies menu. Let's add three new fictitious insurance policies. To do that, first click the Policies menu and select New Policy. The Create Policy Instance page that you configured appears. For first name, enter Fred. And for last name, enter Smith. For address, let's give him an address in California, 123 Main Street, Costa Mesa, California, 92626. Coverage is 4500. An end date, let's put an end date in that's in the future. I'm entering April 30th, 2018. click create. The computer thinks for a bit and then it shows a success message. Remember in the create button configuration where the display notification if successful option was checked? This is what a notification looks like. It tells you something after the operation is performed. This is different from the display confirmation dialog option as you will see in a few moments. Then it returns to the policy search page when it's done as we configured the Create button to do. So here is our first insurance policy. Let's add another one. Peter Smith, 1040 Tandy Circle, Los Angeles, California, 93101. Coverage is 10,000. End date, December 31st, 2018. Click Create again. Let's add a third policy. Barney Rubble, 10,000 BC, 10,000 BC Street, Bedrock, California, 00001. Coverage is 100. For the end date, let's be sure to enter a date in the past so we can demonstrate our context menu expression that disables the edit policy menu item when the policy is ended. I'm going to enter 0304 2010. Click Create again. Now let's test the Search Policy menu item. Remember this menu item should take us to the same page that we're on. If it goes to a different page then we've made a mistake. In the Last Name field, enter Smith. Then click Search. Notice how the policy list results list shows only those policies with the last name of Smith. Let's test the context menu. Right click on Fred Smith and select edit policy. If the edit policy menu is disabled you need to go back and fix your expression in the context menu behavior tab. The edit policy instance page appears. Click cancel for now. Let's do another search. For the last name field, let's search for Smith again. Right click on Peter Smith and select Edit Policy. In the Edit Policy Instance page, changes coverage from 10,000 to 20,000. We need to test that the Update Policy Data Service is doing its job. Oh, and remember in the Configuration Properties for the Save button, where display confirmation dialog was checked. This is what a confirmation dialog looks like. It asks you to confirm before doing something. Click Yes. The update notification message appears. Right click the first name column for Barney Rebel. Notice that the edit policy menu item in the context menu is disabled. Do you remember configuring the disabled when expression so that if the difference of days between today and the policy end date is greater than zero? The fact that the menu item is disabled tells us that's working. Click outside of the context menu to close it. So, 
That concludes testing of all the work we've done so far regarding the policy business object and its user interface artifacts. Let's close the browser window and go back to XCP Designer.